In this demo, I'll show you how to create a MySQL database on Google Cloud Platform using the Cloud SQL service. Here I am in the Google Cloud Console. To use Cloud SQL, go to the navigation menu and scroll down to the databases section and find the service SQL. I'm going to create a new instance. Notice there are three databases supported, MySQL, PostgreSQL, and SQL Server. In this demo, we're going to choose MySQL. Creating database is simple. So first, let's give our database a name. We'll call this MySQL database. And we want it, we're going to need a password for the root account to log in for the first time. So I would just click Generate to generate that password, and I'm going to need that later on. So let's click on the little I, and we'll copy that password, and I'll just paste that temporarily into a text file. We have to specify where in the world we want our database to be. So I'm going to put it close to my house in Northern Virginia in zone US East 4A. And then I just want to take a look quickly at one other configuration option. That's machine type and storage. So if we go to advanced options and then we'll expand machine type and storage. Notice here, this is where we set the size of the machine. So if I click change, notice there, you can have a great big machine with 96 cores and 360 gigabytes of memory, or you can have a little tiny machine with one shared CPU core and only 600 megabytes of memory. We'll just use the default, which is an N1 standard one machine, one CPU and 3.75 gigs of RAM. And also scroll down a little bit more. Notice under storage type, you have SSD and HDD, right? HDD is a standard drive. It's cheaper, but also slower. SSD storage is much faster, but also more expensive. And then also down here under storage capacity, notice Cloud SQL will support databases from 10 gigabytes big to about 30, tera, 30 terabytes big. So that's pretty large. We're, great, we're just gonna start small and then notice this checkbox here, enable automatic storage increases. If we start small and then our database starts to fill up, it'll automatically increase the size of the storage disk for us. But anyway, that's how we get started creating our MySQL database. And then we can click the Create button and give it a few minutes for that database to be ready. So it usually takes about five minutes or so for that database to be up and running. Anyway, that's it. In this demo, we saw how to create a MySQL database using Google Cloud SQL. This is Doug Renstrom with ROI Training.